Do you secretly feel inferior to others? If so, watch this video. You're going to discover three reasons why and what to do about it. And it's going to totally shift things for you. And if you're benefiting from this video, make sure you hit subscribe down below and click the little bell notification so you can watch all these videos as they come out to continue to increase your confidence. And as always, if you want to take it further, get my five steps to unleash your inner confidence ebook. You can click down below in the description to get that ebook for free, my gift to you, and it will skyrocket your confidence if you implement what you learn inside that book. So, inferior, you feel less than, not good enough, not as good as other people. You want to know the main reason why? It's because you're a loser, worse than everybody. <laughs> I'm kidding, but that is how a deceptive those stories can be. We can really believe it. It can really feel true. Trust me, I know this. I lived in a state of inferiority for many years of my life. Everywhere I'd go, if I'd see a man who was better dressed, better looking, stronger, taller, richer, smarter, anything, I'd feel less than. In fact, I could just feel less than other people without even knowing anything about them. I just kind of size them up or get a sense and be like, man, you know, worse than him. You know, and I feel inferior to women too. If they were beautiful, if they were successful, if people liked them, if they're popular, it's like, oh, I'm inferior to her too. So that's how I walked around in life. So trust me, I get this from the inside out. But here's the thing. It's not true. It's not real. It's three things that you're doing in your mind. So here's, here's the truth about it. Inferiority is not about your, your metric, right? You know, someone might have more money than you. Someone might be stronger than you. Someone might be smarter than you in a certain way. But the reason we feel so bad inside is not because someone's better than us at something. It's because we link our self-worth to it. So he is taller than me, so he's more, worth more as a human than me. You know, she's more beautiful than I am, or he's richer than I am, or he's had more accolades in his career than I have. So that person is better than me, and I, I am worse as a human. My value, my lovability, my worthiness to be respected and loved and have the good things in life is all diminished because of that. That is the illusion we must break, that you must sever. So here are three little tricks on the mind. One is you are doing all what's called all or nothing thinking. That's a cognitive distortion from cognitive therapy, all or nothing. So either I'm the best or I'm a total piece of shit, right? So it's not like, oh yeah, that person's a little more effective than me at that thing, huh? It's like, oh man, I'm just a total worthless loser because so-and-so is better because I didn't perform at this thing, right? So you see how extreme it is, all or nothing. So when you notice yourself doing that, say, wait a minute, this is all or nothing. This is not real. This is a delusion that I'm buying into. Number two reason you create inferiority for yourself is what I call win blindness. Win blindness. This is so important. I'm going to have a whole other video about it. But win blindness is you are blind to your own wins, to your own successes, to your own greatness. And it's not like it's not there. You're just blind to it. So if someone is colorblind, it doesn't mean the colors aren't there. It means they just don't see certain colors. Right? If you're blind to anything, you just don't see it. It doesn't mean it's not there. And it's the same thing for your wins. So you just completely discount and dismiss all your own wins, all your own contribution, all the things you've achieved, what you can do, your gifts, all that stuff just doesn't exist. And as a result, in its absence, you feel inferior, less than, because you're not looking, it's not comparing anything real. You're, you're taking away all that you could compare yourself on in the first place. So win blindness. Again, if you catch yourself doing that, stop. Start to be able to catalog and count and see and feel and celebrate your wins. I'll talk more about that in a future video about win blindness. Okay, what is the third reason that we feel inferior? Third reason, so we got number one is that you are doing all or nothing. Number two is win blindness. And number three is self-fulfilling prophecy. So here's how this works. I see this all the time with clients. They have a sense of, oh, I'm, I'm in fear. I'm not as good as that person, so I guess I can't speak up. I can't share my opinions. I'm not as smart as that person in a meeting, for example. And then we don't. We buy the story that we're inferior, and then we act in alignment with that story. That story says, you're inferior, don't speak up. So you don't speak up. You're, in, you know, you're less than that person. Don't ask them out on a date. They're out of your league. So you don't ask them out on a date. And then we act in alignment with that story and we never break out of it. 
So we just keep getting the same low quality results. Oh, no one paid attention to me in the meeting again because I didn't speak up because my ideas aren't good enough. So no one paid attention to me. Do you see how it's this cycle? Oh, I don't have a date again with those people that I really want because I didn't ask them out because I wasn't good enough for them. See, they don't pay attention to me. I'm not good enough for them. It's self-fulfilling. You've got to break that. You've got to challenge that. And that's what this channel is all about. Giving you the confidence to say, you know what? I am different than those stories in my head. Whatever anyone told me, whatever I believed in the past does not have the power to stop me. I can change. You can change today. You can decide differently today. So the question I have for you now to leave you with at the end of this episode is, if you knew you were equal, if, that, if you knew that you were superior or at least equal to others, how would you show up in that meeting, at that date, at whatever your next conversation or experience is that you might feel inferior in? If that was not true, what would you do? Okay, great. Get as specific as possible. That's your action list. You must do those actions. You must build that confidence step by step. And the confidence is going to be a byproduct of you taking those actions. Fantastic. Thanks for being with me today. Share down below in the comments what you're learning, what you're finding most valuable. And as always, go to draziz.com. You can get the link down below to get that ebook. Because when you start to study this stuff and apply it in your life, everything can transform for you. Thanks for being with me. Until we speak again, may have the courage to know that you're awesome. I'll talk to you soon.